Judges were immediately taken by how much larger your living and dining space looked this week once it was furnished. The way they've positioned furniture, mm. it's really grand. You walk through this massive wide hallway and then every line mm. stretches out horizontally away from you. So this table, being wide like this, I would never have ever put this table like that in a million years. Mm. But walking in like this, you get this elongation of the space. It feels wider. It's remarkable how big this feels. It's brilliant. Do you know what? I feel like I'm walking in here and seeing the work of a professional interior designer. There is a level of sophistication and cohesion in this room that blows me away. It is so beautifully accomplished. I think because there's so many architectural points in the space, and very simply, just that opening there creates this visual that lifts your eye up. So your eye is taken to another level that you actually start here and then soar. And that's not easy to do. Darren Palmer thinks the choices of the furnishings and the extra space you left open makes the best use of the dappled light flowing through the drapes. It's just layering all of these textures. It's, it's remarkable. I, I, I love this. I love it so much. To leave such a volume of space feels like luxury. That's what people pay for, he said. You pay for voids. You pay for empty floor space that you can have the luxury of feeling like you've got space to move around in, yeah. space to breathe. It is so beautiful and so considered, so pared back, but it really creates a strong sense of itself. The only thing that was bothering him today was the lighting. I always say to the contestants, imagine yourself sitting in this space in the evening. Where's your lighting coming from? All we've got are the down lights above us. We've got no lamps. You know, you've got a space over there next to the fireplace, next to the television that is crying out for a beautiful, big, oversized lamp that would create that wonderful warmth and ambience in the evening. Moving to the void, the judges were very impressed. Simplicity once again. Oh, wow. It is spectacular. Making the most of the shape of the building. Yep. It's been so cleverly done. They acknowledged that it must have been a tough area to paint. They actually must have got up there and really applied a lot of effort to getting it right. It's pretty, pretty close to perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving the reference of this panelling that we saw in the kitchen, in this cupboard, I'm assuming. Look at that. Like games, everything. Yep. It's got all the technology there ready to go that you plug in. It's really cool. While sitting here looking around, they did note a couple of execution issues. The paintwork around the fireplace is pretty dodgy. You've got off-white, white, off-white, white, off-white, off white, white. Like, obviously, they just ran out of time, so that's unfortunate. Because otherwise, I'm looking at a, a perfect room. To think Harry and Tash lost the Brighton Beach Box Challenge <laughs> and this is the house that no one wanted. And I think they've done it justice and they should be really proud of themselves. Coming yep. last was their lucky break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you're going to come last tonight with that feedback. Well, That's it. We'll, we'll find out. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Professional styling. Professional material. I'll take that. that I don't think it's true, fantastic. but I'll take it.